Okay. Here we go. The new bestseller by Ryan Stevenson. Chapter one. The town, your town. London town begins to stare. Friday night kicks off to the same pound and beat that saw Thursday collapse comatose. Girls pour onto the streets and flood the bars of the capital. Queen to the selfie looking for adventure under Cupid's hopeful gaze. This is their London. What's the capital saying to me? What is it saying? Fuck knows. Let's bring in me mates. From the glass towers of high finance, the party never stops when John Moriarty's on the scene. Uh, for the book, I'll call him the money man. Find the red carpet and you'll find Connor Matthews unleashing that killer smile. He has to be the movie star. We may have started out from nowhere, but now we're claiming this town as our own. London town, the world's town, your town. Aspirational, not miserable, as requested. Easy. My town. This is Phil Williams here with you on Five Live. Delighted to say, joining us on the programme now, Connor Matthews and Emily Thompson Franks, two of the hottest acting properties around at the moment. Welcome, guys, welcome. Uh, Emily, let's start with you, and we've all seen you in the costume dramas that you're renowned for. And now, well, I'm telling you, a girlfriend will age you quicker than time, ma'am. Quite a good line for you. Rip it off. Listen to me. Being big on the scene, banging birds keeps you young. I'm fit. I'm preaching the truth here, kid. Um, I've had a busy year. Just done the sequel for the Werewolf movie, movie again. And um, well, to be honest, mate, I'm just gonna look forward to just kicking it and being back home for a while. I'm not have to sit in makeup and wardrobe for three hours, dressing up like a werewolf. I'll switch that screensaver up, you fucking nutcase. What is normality like? So much to learn. The media is on you 24/7. You're a lot younger than the Beckhams, a lot younger than the Kardashians. How are you coping with it? Well, I don't know. You just kind of get used to it, don't you, babe? I mean. Oh, she loves herself. Find me an actor that doesn't. She can't even act. I think we just stick together, just power through it, you know. It's interesting for us because we're both in the same industry, so we're both striving towards the same goals. How will the relationship cope whilst you're in Hollywood and you're not, right? <laughs> yeah. So if it wasn't for the papers, she'd be locking that trout pout around some roadie's cock. <laughs> you can't say that, John. Sorry, love. On solid foundations, on rock, you know. So I'm there to support her through everything she does, and I'll be there for her. Hey, he's turning into you. My two best friends are now complete salads. Well, it's not me, is it? I'm single. Recently single. Why can't we have that? I don't want that. Ever. Look at me. <laughs> I'm living yeah. the dream, geese. So look at you. Those loafers. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I say, I, th I really do believe that we, we, we've built a foundation yeah. that, that, that can last through weather any storm. Yeah. Emily? Well, I mean, he's taking me to the airport, so, of course, I'm really missing him. Oh, he's holding her hand. How sweet. We don't want you to miss that plane. So nice down for a letdown, then. We're supposed to be smashing it tonight. Well, I only came up because he asked me. What do we want to do now? Let me see what I can salvage. Stuff. <laughs> I'll shed some clothes, you two. It's fucking roasting in here. Have a quick word, mate. <sighs> Step into my office. The script says, jilted lover engages in top banging, no strings attained. You forgot on your lines, man. I'm serious, mate. Tonight's not tonight. I want to be able to enjoy myself, you know that. And this, I can't. Hold on, mate. I'll tell him you're. Do you know what? They won't even care. Put them up. 
Yes. Have a good night, sir. See you next time. Right, ladies. Who's seen the film, Film and Louise, Meet John? <laughs> Feet that fall come the gathering rain suffering as I suffer you hearing you speak of pain if I was if I am if I did if I had Consider your flat and the envy it elicits. Fine art ship from Laguna Beach after one of your many jaunts to the O.C. The couture furniture procured at some great expense by the capital's most sought after designer. Known only to London's inner circles and even then, only by the litter Rex. But to you, Abandon hope, all ye who enter. Ah, good night. Yeah, John picked up a couple of chicks, so I left him to it. I'm living the high life, and I see. Jeez, it's a shit hole, mate. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers. You too. Mm. Oh, decent cup of tea, though. But, mate, I can't remember last time I opened any mail. Letter from Freddy. What's he saying, anyway? Usual heartwarming missive. Wrong direction completely. Didn't we agree this would be aspirational, not bloody miserable? Where are the stunning women, classy nightclubs and flash cars on every page? <laughs> Come on, Sutton, soon. Only a dance left to go back. Well, it's been around me. Well, it would be. Ooh, brother, 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 hating on a brother! <laughs> well, look, lad, have you wrote anything at all this month? So stop projecting. Stop all that yank shite. I know where I'm going with it. Good. Because I know exactly where you're going tonight. What's the point? Research, my good friend, and my personal guarantee of the best night out you've had since your split. That's a high bar. Exactly. You're in like Flynn or you're dead to me. At least then I can rest in peace. Stranger. Yeah, Josie, sorry, I, I've, um, I've been busy and I lost my charge. Hey, right, I'm not so. We went to the cemetery yesterday and it would have been nice if you called him. I still have no memory of how I found myself at his work. Ryan. Dad, it's Mum, I said. Go home to your sister was all he replied. Away, mate. Sorry, mate. You never spoke about my mother again. Hey there, Ryan. Yeah, Chelsea, look, I know what day it was, all right? I've got to go. Just ring me, Dad. Yeah, whatever. Those were the opening lines of the book that brought me down here. And now, all I do is scribble in this notebook and wonder if I have anything else to say. Lucy. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. I, I... How have you been? Yeah, great. Um, you know, just going out all the time. Yeah, me too. Did you call me at 2am last week? No, not at all, no. 
I definitely got him a school for you. I must have went off in my pocket in the club or something. All right. Look after yourself, yeah? Don't end up like John, sleeping with everything this side of the Watford Gap. No offence, Lucy, but you're not the person I'd be taking fucking relationship advice from. Don't swear. You know I hate that. Sorry. Listen, I think you ought to go. Why? I just think that you should probably go. I This is Guy. Guy. Bye. How are you? We should go. See you around. Yeah. Ciao. Fucking ciao. Try for poetic metaphor on the transience of love. But he's squeezing the arse that I once squeezed, so all I can type is she looks beautiful. Never be that good again, I know, but how close can it get? Aspirational, not miserable. Cliche at all, lads. You need cheering up. Get in. High life with the low life, say. Eh? Get in there, lad. <laughs> this is a big cab. What can I say? Yeah. <laughs> and he washed his hands a minute ago. Oh, mate, he's a joke. I haven't heard from you in a while, so I thought I'd give you a shout. I know all the time difference is a bitch, but... but I'm just calling to say I'm missing you, all right? All right? He didn't. He fainted. <laughs> right, here he is, here he is. Hey, Freak Show. Oh, fuck off, mate. Just telling uh, Broken Art here about last night. Oh, I don't believe a word he says. Oh, shit, yeah, I got sent a shitload of this free after show the other week. Can you peasants want some? Oh, yeah, I love a freebie. Mm. This was like Pandora's box. I love it. Nice one. Oh, Pedro, get a bill, please. Superstar is paying. And get my phone off charge, will ya? Don't be looking at the text your mum sent me. It's a good lad. All right, lads, all depressing chat stays here. Let's get the bright lights. Be around no. somewhere. Go and get yourself a drink. <laughs> Two mannequins look through you in an attempt to admire themselves in the grand mirror behind your booth. Turn to see what they see, what you don't see, what you've never seen, but you conclude they have no reflection. Thank you. 
believe Connor's lent you his card again. Oh, come on, mate. This car looks loads better on me, doesn't it? Listen, um, sorry about last night. Oh, turn it in, Shakespeare. It's all forgotten about. I'm just pleased you found some inspiration at last. <sighs> nice one. On to more pressing matters. Mm -hmm. Put your arms away, you big girl. <laughs> <laughs> mate, welcome to the gun show. Go on, have a little feel. No. It's like two snakes fighting in a bag, isn't it? Look. Go on. What, grass snakes? <laughs> more importantly, you know Matt Barrett from Monday Night 7 Aside? Yeah. Well, Matt reckons... No, don't be relaying him throws from Matt Barrett. Mate, I know he's a bit of a water mitty, but he's all right. Anyway, he's over in La La Land at the moment, supporting part in some film. That bit won't be true. But the important bit is, is he saw Emily out having dinner with a director. It's a job. No, but they were older nans. Nah, no chance. Mate, I'm just telling you what he said. Has Connor from here? Nah, she'll bomb out soon enough, though, won't she? She'll be back in a couple of weeks with her tail between her legs. Or somebody else's tail, presumably. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. What's the crack today, then? Patch things up with Freddy. Uh, if I lose my agent, I'm literally fucked. I'll be a has-been that never was. <laughs> serious question for you, serious. Would it help at all if I uh, bang that missus of his? No, I fucking wouldn't. <laughs> Best behaviour, please. Hey, wait, have a listen to this, by the way. <laughs> that, my friend, is the sound of success. Yeah. Connor's success. <laughs> Let's get out of it. But everybody at this party is a complete salad. Remind me of the salad thing again. It's quite simple, right? Nobody likes a salad. Do I look all right? Mate, you look gorgeous. I'll sleep with you. <laughs> Mate, it's Freddy. What are you going to say if he asks what you're written? As golden as it'll be, I'll just have to beg it. Where is bottled it when she came on to at Giles' funeral. Didn't bottle it, she was just messing. Oh, get all right involved in that. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get involved in the arms so you can stay away from Freddy. Oh, mate, I've got to take this. Shit's kicking off at work. Hello? I'm not trying to pass the plane. Who's the doggy? Who's the doggy? He's got the doggy. seen you before, um, Giles' funeral? Yeah, my dad. So your dad? Yeah. I didn't know, sorry. No, it's okay, you weren't snowing. I was studying at Columbia when he died. He was a lovely man. I, um, done a lot for me. He published my first book and persuaded me to move to London, so... Sorry, are you... are you Ryan Stevenson? Yeah, why? <laughs> oh, my God. I still have the book that he posted to me. Mm. You still got it. Brilliant. I can't believe you wrote that at such a young age. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Well, I'm sure you'll be on the bestseller list in no time. If only. You will. Visualise it. <laughs> I, I don't know what I hear that way. <laughs> Your cab's here, darling. Cheers, thank you. Leaving so soon? Yeah, I've got to get back to work. I've got to go back into London. You can share the cab with me, if you like. No, um, I'd love to, but I'm here with a friend. A boy friend. Not... A boyfriend. I'm here with my best mate, John. He's here. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, well. Um, really lovely to meet you, yeah. finally. Right. Nice to meet you. I didn't say goodbye to you. See you later. See you later. See you later. Uh, Anna. Uh, I mean, I just wondered if you'd want to take my number and maybe we can continue this chat sometime. 
No. I'm joking, yeah. <laughs> In fair half in doing where we lay our scene, she was fit though, wasn't she? Oh, most F. About three levels above you. I'm joking, my boy done good. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to get another friend. <laughs> Here they are. My two least favourite people. And what if I did impossible with a budget of a state dinner to organise a quiet soiree for a few friends? And you. Ready. I don't start. I've heard trench warfare tales about the food. I get camera. I'm just going to do something to justify the extortionate salary you draw from me. Not you, Stevenson. Follow me. See, then, shall I? Don't be smart with me. Hmm? Just um, bring me up to speed on what exactly you've been up to for the last six months. I'll have something very good for them in the next seven days, just like you asked. Even if it kills me. Do you know how rare advances are in this market? They want a return on their investment, or they want my money back. I haven't got it. Not my problem. Freddy, you're my agent. I've only got myself to blame for agreeing to Charles's wish that I'd keep you on. He always did fall for a sob story. Leave Charles out of it. Just give me one last chance. Please. Give me something I can sell. Remember Rose Tosh? Like these chapters you sent me, or worse, like that dreary old novel of yours? I've got my reputation to protect. Really? How's that script coming, Fred? Do you only have yourself to blame for believing Mike and Jen when they said you had talent? I really wouldn't get chippy, Stevenson. You know what they say? The best laid plans of Mike and Jen often go all right. Like a little shit. I had me make Connor the good year last year. And? Yeah, the agency made a lot of money out of him. <laughs> Pathetic. If you think for a second that's going to help you, you've got another thing coming. Now get out of here now. I want a completed manuscript on my desk by the end of the week. Go on then, I'll have one more. John? Do you know where John is? Right. John? I was just uh, I was looking for John. Hello. Uh. You're quite a hit with Anna here. Beautiful goody goody, isn't she? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Freddy's already on the bed just hacking me, oh. so it's not. <laughs> He's passed out in his office. He's always coming home drunk, smelling of women. Bastard. Not exactly my favorite person, either. Why would anyone want to suck up to my husband? <laughs> I don't know, boy. I might have done myself a favor. I would have done just that. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, 
I was just going to book a taxi. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're staying with me? No, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to get back. No, I don't think so. No, I, yeah. Freddy's upstairs. Well, Freddy. <laughs> and Nera's quick, wouldn't wake him. No, no, but mm, yeah. it's... No, oh, she's not. No, we can't. No, we can't. Yeah, we can't. No. No? no? Oh, yeah. No? No, no, no. 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 Okay. Huh? <laughs> what? <sighs> Michael. I don't care if he says he's busy. I'm paying the bastard five times his per diem. All right? I need him. I need him if the distributors are going to be interested in my film, Michael. All right? Lest you dare forget my film. I'll call you back, Michael. Susanna, is that you? Make me a cup of coffee, would you? Susanna, are you listening to me? Jennifer, you better be calling to tell me that you have director attached. Yes. Yeah. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Susanna! Susanna, I have been wrong. Beautiful pot of coffee to locate it the moment I finish this phone call. So, director, best not call things, yes. What are you shouting about? Two sugars. What the fuck? So you wake up, start bollock naked, in bed with her, and nothing but your socks. And then I legged it before he saw me. <laughs> hey, at least now you have something juicy to talk about tonight on your date with the lovely Anna. Not funny. What am I gonna do? You could man up. Could be worse. Be like our friend here on all the papers. Which English rose is taking direction both on and off set? Can't have seen this. He's trying to laugh it off. You wanna go and see him? No can do. I'll be out of the picture for the next few days. Shit's kicking off at work, but it's no biggie. He's finally getting you know to back off as early. <laughs> Very good. You do realise the whole hedge fund would collapse without Johnny Boyer running the show. I'll go and see him tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why well, not today? No, I can't. I've got a right today. I've only got a week left. I've got that date with Anna and the last night. Yeah. I'm really proud of you, you know. What you did last night was textbook Jimmy and Christian. Enlighten me. Nail and bail. <laughs> Congratulations, that's the most sexist thing you've ever said. Oh, wait, look at this. Wait, is that, is that who I think it is? Hello? Ryan? It's me, Susanna, from last night. Stop it, Jack. I'd really like to see you again. Stop it, Please Jack. give me a kiss. Stop it. All right, now, Steve. <sighs> yeah. That's what you sound like to go home. I know you cry. Cheers.
Okay, so this is embarrassing, but I bought your book. Um, I was. Yeah. Please, please sign it for me. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's not that weird. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was really sad. Beautiful and powerful. What's sad. I can't even remember what I wrote now. Yeah, you do. I was just writing what I was thinking. And my mum had just died, so I must have had a lot on my mind. I love all the political stuff. Must have been such an intelligent child. Mm. Little Shay. Time in this town has certainly drummed it out in me. Really? Doesn't sound like the guy that wrote that. I've just seen people close to me try and change the system and it doesn't work. It made me think. I don't know if I was a braver person, then I'd go and do something about it. Thanks. Thank you. I've got um, a new direction for the new book, anyway. What's it about? It's set in the West End, and it's about fast cars, fast women, and, like, life in the fast lane, basically. Are you enjoying writing that? <laughs> no, <laughs> why, Ryan, why? It's just what Freddie asked for. Did you have night at Freddie's after I left? Yeah, it's OK. Um, why? No, it's just, they're not really my scene. Fancies aren't quite annoying. <laughs> He is he your agent now though, right? So you must get on okay. Well, in the interest of fair state honesty, I would have to say. Hell no. Ah! <laughs> oh! That was really good. Thanks. So go on, um what? you must have met your fair share of stars growing up with Giles as your dad. Yeah, well, yes. My school was super expensive. Of course. So, all my friends were daughters of rock stars and bank CEOs. Pretty precocious. I could just go away to leave. I just like, get really embarrassed when I talk about it, I don't know why. Yeah, that type of life's quite good sometimes, don't you think? It's not the real world, though, is it? No, but when you live in the real world, it's easy to see why you'd want a piece, don't you? Oh, lucky. <laughs> Anyway, I've got a confession to make. I don't mind telling you because you brought my book, but I Googled you. <laughs> You're on art gallery, eh? Bit of a stalk, am I? Sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my dad left me some money, so now I have my own little art gallery. I promote unknown artists who wouldn't get a chance otherwise. Very nice. Sounds it, doesn't it? But it's not what I imagined. It's all overdrafts and tax returns, and if not that, then some trader coming in asking if the piece is efficient investment, and the wives saying that the work won't match the hideous wallpaper. Yeah, well, reality's that's... a bitch sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. I thought that's what he would want me to do. I reckon he just want you to be happy. So go on. It's not art. And it's clearly not pool. <laughs> um, what would you do? My dreams. Yeah. Make a difference, or at least try. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> That's so stupid saying it. Little rich girl wants to change the world. <laughs> it's not like that with you, though, is it? Anna, caught between two worlds. Love, Ryan. Don't say another game, I certainly didn't get me dinner. So. <laughs> we haven't paid for that yet.
you remember us, do you? He's not himself, you know. I'm up the wall and I have to chase you. I meant to ring, I've just I've been busy myself. Yeah. Looking after your mate, no doubt. I saw it in the paper about his girlfriend. Oh, no, that's just paper talk. Well, you tell him I'm available. If he's on the rebound. He's on my permitted affair list, you know. Look, can I just uh, call you back later? I'm uh, a bit busy. Go on, then. Look after yourself. And Ryan, I'll just speak to Dad. Please. Yeah, whatever. So now. That time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's no. this? It's the plan of action. Your action plan? Yeah. For today? Mm -hmm. Things to do on this trip. Trafalgar Square, London Eye. What? <laughs> oh, this is like a tourist dream. Some Londoner you are. <laughs> Hang on, I am not a Londoner. I am a citizen of the People's Republic of Liverpool, remember? Ah, uh, yes. Is this no good then? No. Come on, comrade. I will protect you from the immigration squad and I will take you on a different tour. I look forward to it. You should do it, it's going to be great. Good. And my mate actually did this one and I sort of helped a little bit. I know what you're going to say, that you don't like it, but I actually helped him do it, so you have to like it. You hate it. Anna, can I ask you a question? Are you seeing anyone at the moment? It's just because everyone our age never seems to be completely single and... Well, I did meet a cute scouser recently. <laughs> Who is he? I'll kill him. No, go on. So, what happened with this cute scouse boy, then? Well, um, actually, he's got an ex himself. Uh, it's all right. Suzanne told me I know that it takes time. Uh, uh, no, no, Suzanne, I know it's not about me. I barely know her. I'm, I'm over Lucy now. Yeah, I know. I don't. I shouldn't have said anything. I just. I know. I'm over her now. Okay? Okay, new game. You have to pick someone with an iPod, and I have to tell you what I think they're listening to. Really? It's a great game. Play. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that guy over there. You're kidding me. All right, okay, well, that tan is clearly not natural. I think you'd want to give off the impression that he's listening to something like head candy or something like that, and that he's God's gift to every woman on this train. But I think if we pulled those earphones off, we'd actually hear James Bond in full singing about three wise men with a semi by his seat. It's very inventive. Thanks. How do we score him? You don't, I do, 10 out of 10. Well done. Thanks. Your turn, that guy over there. OK, yeah. Um, he's probably just to some 80s indie band that I probably wouldn't have heard of and definitely have not But just then, as that girl sat down, he smiled. His iPod shuffled to uh, the Eagles singing about how pretty girls find out early how to open doors with just a smile. I'm not playing these games with you anymore. <laughs> You're too good at them. Yeah. <laughs> all right, then. Come on, you're all right. 
Am I? I've got it. I believe in you. <laughs> I wouldn't. That was quite smooth. Well done, that was smooth. <laughs> <laughs> That when I moved down, I'll never go back. So this place reminds me of home. How can we don't go home? It's a bit weird with me, Dad. Yeah. It was like writing a diary that just spiraled into this mad book. My nan said it brought shame on the family. It's amazing how people can fail to understand poetic license. Pretentious, is that? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. When was the last time you read your book? Never read the published version. <laughs> well, I think you should. Read to me like a family torn apart dealing with tragedy. No. No villains. Everyone hurts. He was an adult when I was just a kid. I don't think that comes into it. When my dad died, I felt like a terrified little girl. It was only a year ago. Usually I'd have beer, but as it's a special occasion, we're going to have this half-drunk bottle of Sauvignon Blanc from the other night. Delicious. <laughs> Should I be worried about this? No, it's the um, it's the River Mersey. I uh, brought it with me when I came from Liverpool, because I'm never going back. So a little memento. <laughs> and I, I've, um, I've had an amazing time. Yeah, I so have I. And so beautiful. I know that everyone usually says this, but I don't actually do this <laughs> very often. But I just feel like you may. <laughs> God, help me out. Stop <laughs> no, me know, speaking. Know. <laughs> Do you me know what I mean? Yeah. Just feels right. Just some bird on my own gig, probably about 6.5. Massive tits, but when I put my hands under them, they were like a slinky, you know? <laughs> Top banging, though. <laughs> Since when do you go to gigs? Mate, I'm one of London's leading lights, aren't I? <laughs> Fucking neon. <laughs> Tacky and cheesy. <laughs> yeah, we might have a problem here, you know. Blame you 100% if we do. It's not worse than getting a knock from a brain dead dormant in a club I didn't even want to go into in the first place. No, nah, mate, we'd be all right. That fella from earlier went in in flip flops, didn't he? Yeah, he was with Jennifer Lawrence. Was he? Your name's not on the list. Babe, um, I'm on Charlie's table. I don't know who Charlie is. Your name's not on the list. Step away, please. Names? He's Rock. I'm Rob. No, it's uh, John Moriarty and Ryan Stevenson on Julia's list. <laughs> OK, your names are down, but you're not getting in dressed like that. But we come here all the time. No, nope, it's not happening. Please step away. But I thought it was in flip-flops. John, 
Come on. Go ahead, lads. One more key. Fuck off. Yeah, where have you been? Look at you! You good, boys? Yeah. I've been oh. waiting for you, though. Ready? Yeah, come on. Well done, Connor. 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 Well done, <laughs> Your guest has arrived. I'm I'm not eating. Sorry, I I just came to hear you out. Nonsense. No, we'll have two uh Merlots and some of those nibbly things. Yeah. That's what we call more than keen, mate. And swash is going on the one sex a week tariff. Is any girl fortunate enough to get a text a day off you? Are you kidding? Do you realise the sexual payment plan that we're tied into? Uh, whoa! whoa! Mate, you know the score. Pick up the phone. Pick up the tap. They're the rules. Yeah, but... No, 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 no. Even if it is your new one texting you. One? Uh, she's got a name and it's Anna and it is her texting me. Oh, he's in love already. Fuck off, you've been in love. If I want love, I'll go see my mum at the weekend for a cuddle. Can I go and see your mum for a cuddle? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> they give you a cuddle. Yeah, no. Steve is just back. You're uh, seeing Ryan now, I hear. That's none of your business, Freddy. Do you think he would think it was my business if I told him about our little relationship? A drunken fling with a grieving girl. It's hardly something for you to be proud of. Chillax, darling. I am interested in investing in your gal. Well, I know you're struggling, and before he died, I promised Giles I'd look after you. Look after me. What would your wife say about that? It's none of Susanna's business. I don't think she'd see it that way. No, no. Cheers. You all right about that stuff in the paper? Oh, mate, all that stuff didn't bother me. It's not the first manufacturing media store I've had to deal with. Yeah. It's a pity they sell truckloads, though. Well, all that matters is that I know the truth. Yeah. You're not taking the heat off yourself, Stevenson. We're very pleased you found the birds, but you're still cracking on tonight. You got no loyalty. But don't talk to me about fucking loyalty. When you two have found yourselves in a river over some birds, who's there to pick up the pieces? Me. Yeah, fair enough. But loyalty to women. Well, you've got to be realistic. Social networking has been the final nail in the coffin of fidelity. I'll drink to anything. Put that. Yeah. I drink by myself, though. <laughs> Financing is there for you, and all of my business savoir-faire is at your disposal. I want urban, fresh artists. Have my artists already. Oh, yeah? You sell how many pieces? <laughs> now, I have an investor in France. We'll take a trip to Paris the weekend prochain. Hmm. Oh, and we so, so happen to be staying in one room. Your business is failing, darling. I'm trying to help you. I'd like to invest in people I have a connection with. I know the way that you want to connect. <sighs> darling. Stop isn't it? calling me darling. I'm ending this now. Don't walk away from me, Anna. You think you're giving orders too? I can make things very difficult for you. And that little boyfriend of yours, especially. I can pull the plug on him. Any time I want to. Fuck you. Good 
reasonable, sir. Are you joking? Take them away. What do you want? I just wanted to hear your voice. Why, Lucy? Why now? You, you never wanted to see me? I don't know. What's changed now? I just wanted to speak to you. You ended it. Did you honestly think that we were happy? Yeah. Happy as anyone. You were never happy, Ryan. It used to be fun. If you live in such a misery, why are you ringing me now? I don't know. Can I call you tomorrow? Please, Ryan. Yeah, maybe.
So it's not such a good morning for the golden couple, Connor Matthews and Emily Thompson Franks. It would appear that she's been caught out. Ross King is live in Hollywood for us. Uh, morning, Ross. What can you tell us? Morning, Ben. Uh, details are a little patchy at the moment, but what we can tell you is that a photograph has been shared on a celebrity website of Emily in a clinch with the director of her latest movie. I think it's safe to say, though, that it's not looking good for the golden couple. What are you doing here? Look, you need to go. The cab's gone. Sorry. No, seriously, sorry. Sorry. Things are bad enough as it is. Relax. He'll never find out, honestly. I missed you. Why? Because you're kind. More Freddy. Yeah. Yeah, but you've said it now, haven't you? I'll see you later. What did he say? So I've got 48 hours to complete the manuscript. And I ended up in bed with Susanna. Brilliant. I mean, nightmare. Brilliant. Anna won't answer the phone. She already heard me on the phone to Lucy. Imagine if she knew about Susanna. Blown it, man. You haven't been listening to a word I say, have you? You ended up in bed with Susanna, not Lucy, not Anna, for one reason. Go on. Path of least resistance. Your cock is no different from water flowing down a hill. <laughs> Quite clever for you, though. But, er. Uh, a pub with lunchtime strippers. <laughs> Surely a new low for us. I had my first Saturday job here. <laughs> collecting glasses when I was a kid. Well, even Warren Buffett had to start somewhere. Oi! You may mock. Economics 101, Stevenson. Give the customer what he wants. Nah, not this customer, thanks. We spoke to Con. I've left to meet messages already. He'll be all right. This sort of thing don't phase him. Unlike you. You know what, just get off me. Get off me. Come on, you've paid for it. I've got to pay whatever, all right? Just, just, just give me a blowjob. Suit yourself, then. I need some cash, John, seriously. If I could, mate, you know I would. I know. Stop worrying about money. We're exactly where we want to be. You and I are rock-solid assets. I wish you'd tell Freddy that. The book will be ready soon enough. Divine soon. Got less than 48 hours. It's easy to write in that. Watch. John very slowly removed his clothes as the university girls waited for him in the orgy. No adverbs. Schoolboy. Try again, Fitzgerald. All right. All right. Caligula S. <laughs> John undressed for the orgy. I love it. It's brilliant. You got the job as me ghostwriter. You can start tomorrow. You'll be right up Freddy's alley. <laughs>
Where are you, you fucking prick? Where are you? Where are you, Judas? Where are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come down, right? Where is he? I don't know. I just got it. I suppose you knew all about this, didn't you? Oi, I'm your best mate. Of course I didn't. Is it real? Probably. I don't know. Do you deceive me, man? Mate, I came here, the door's open. The place looks like this. He's probably in an absolute state. Don't start defending him, John. I'm not, I'm just saying. Well, don't! <sighs> Fucking state. Gotta go. Well, you're still gonna go to the agency, yeah. right? It's a these days line, isn't it? Well, have you got something to show him? <sighs> See you later, John. Look after yourself, Ray. Love you, mate. that you had to tell me so urgently so that I can leave. I told Susanna about us. You bastard. Susanna. I just want you to fuck me right now. I don't want you. It doesn't feel like it. There is no us. You took advantage of me and I've regretted it ever since. And all you've done now is destroyed your marriage. There's nothing to stop us doing this now. Apart from the fact that I don't accept your business proposition, Freddie. We can't. <laughs> yeah, we can't. Susanna, you're only doing this to get back with Freddie. so clever, but you don't know anything. I'm selling up, and I've got a long trip booked. I'm out. Oh, darling, you're real. Like a gallery. Oh, look, I, I only came here to tell you that it's over. Like this, it's over, it can't happen, please. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. I will never let you have any hold over me, Freddy. No, Anna, please. I really hope that you're okay, but now is not the right time for us. It is. No, it is. No, it isn't, because I'm going away. It's all booked. Where? New York. Friends running an Occupy offshoot. I'm going to go and work with her, help her out, see what happens next. I know it's, it's crazy. But if I don't do it now, then I'll never do it. Is this to do with Lucy? It's no, it's to not do to do with Lucy. It's because I promise I'll get off for fuck's sake. Oh, it's, it's a, not exactly bulging with manuscript, now, are you? Office, now. Just wait for me, please. Let's talk. 
How's it going, man? You're good. <laughs> See ya. Cheers. Yes, lad, you're good. You just, just get off me and stop being so desperate. Desperate? Not so desperate for you to fuck me all night long at my own husband's party. You little shit. Oh no, don't worry about her. She's too busy shacking up with my husband to give a shit about you. Get him out of here. Annie. Annie! Fuck! Go me! Anna, wait. What do you want me to say? Why did you do it? What about you? I trusted you. I trusted you. You fucked Susanna the night that we met. It wasn't like that, Annie. Okay. Well, I'll tell you how it was for me. I went home that night, Ryan, and I told all my friends about you, and you went off, and you fucked someone else. Leave me alone. Where are you going to go on? Go away, Ryan. Is that it? Is it that easy for you, is what? it? What? Had your kicks, have you? Hey, you bit of rough. Yeah, just fuck off back to your big mansion or on your fucking jolly saving the world and then come back and have your big art gallery that daddy's money got you and then see Freddy again because you fucking helped him out so much the first time. Because life's hard. But you make it look so fucking easy with money, sweetheart. You're not the only person to lose a parent, Ryan. You didn't trademark grief. Yes. 
inside and something screaming I know you're trying but there's nothing you can say I feel better Right, it's me, it's Jersey It's Dad He's had a heart attack They don't know if he's gonna He's in intensive care and I really need you here, Ryan Where the hell have you been? He's been asking for you. What was I meant to tell him? He's here now. Look, I told you. I told you to ring him. I am fucking sick of making excuses for you, Ryan. Alright. He's here now. I just really blessed. You alright? I've had better days, lad. <laughs> right, I should have rung. You've got your own life to leave, haven't you, lad? I know, but... Yeah. You're there now. It's all that matters, isn't it? You okay? Doing better than you, by the looks of me. Shit. You're not wrong there. My sister said that you weren't doing very well like that. You've been in a terrible state. <laughs> no, I'm all right. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on with you? What's the matter? It's all over. Finished with him, with Lucy. Um, I went with my agent's wife. So my career, for what it was worth, is over. I've got no money. It's a perfect girl and fucked it up. Hey. No swear. You know you mother never like that. I'm sorry. I messed that up and then you suppose it made Connor went with Lucy. Did what? Dirty lousy bastard. Hope you gave him a dig. Both of them. Is it? Rare place here. I used to think that Lucy would be the one. Nah, there's no such thing as the one. Just the one you had. I don't believe that. No, well, that's because you take after your mother. So, uh, 
Come on, then, who's this new girl? I don't know. She's amazing, though. Maybe it wouldn't have worked out anyway, because she's got, like, this political group thing in New York. Oh, right. She's one of us, then, eh? An old comrade, one of our own. <laughs> Hardly. Look, do what makes you happy, lad. I'm done with London, anyway. I'm, uh, I'm going to move back to Liverpool, move in with that Josie. when she was so ill. At the funeral, everyone's singing and dancing. Ryan, look. Your mother made me promise that it'd be a good old-fashioned funeral, you know, ale, food, everyone singing songs. She said to me, Joe, you can't even boil an egg. I'm gonna have to make the food and stick it in the freezer. You know what she was like? Life goes on. What she said to me, Joe, life goes on. I loved your mother more than anything. She was an angel. And if you're lucky enough to meet a girl like her, then you'll be you'll be a very lucky man indeed. She fucked up book though, but look. I should have been there for you. Instead of looking for the answers in the bottom of a pine glass. I'm sorry for that. I'm really sorry for that. I'm sorry about the book. Hey, listen, you don't have to apologise to me. I just wrote it. It was like. It's like writing it, it was like sending a message off in a bottle and just setting it to sail. Oh, Jesus Christ, you and your bleeding metaphors. It's a simile, Dad. Oh, what? A simile. <laughs> oh, you're a smart ass, you are. Look, we're okay, you and me, aren't we? Are we okay? Yeah. Good. That's all that matters. Come here, like give us all. Glad you're okay, Dad. No. Right. Don't get us a cup of tea, will you, Dad? <laughs> So, I sold my shares the other week. It's ten grand sitting there. I use it have an half each. I'm not taking money off your dad. You've worked your whole life for that. That's your four tooth and nail for that money, it's not fair. No. To provide for you two. But if I can use that money to do the right thing, and me kids will be a happy man. And I'll tell you something else for on. That new book that you're writing, that's gonna be a hit. I don't even know if that's going to happen anymore. What's, what's it about, then? It's about a young lad going around, living the high life, sleeping with loads of women. What? Hmm. Are they? <laughs> that's not you, lad. No, nah, it's not. Don't you want to write about something that matters? Do you remember when I used to get on my soapbox? Well, I'd have been over the moon if I'd have been given a chance to make people listen. That book there, that might have been hard for me to take in parts, but it was written from the heart. 
And that's why people love it. Look, don't lose yourself. Don't try to fool anyone. I was just writing what the agent asked me to. Oh, God. God What does he know, anyway? It's your dad telling you this, lad. Listen to me, I was the first man in our pub to tip half man, half biscuit for world mega stardom. So trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I know whereof I speak. What if a publisher won't touch it? They will. They will touch it. And it'll fly off the shelves. And if it doesn't, me and your sister here, we'll sell each and every copy on every street corner in Liverpool, won't we, babe? If we have to, yeah. I'll piss off Barcelona before they change my mind about the money. <laughs> Don't die. I'm not gonna die. Not yet. You'll be all right. Mm. So, if you decided? it? Yeah, I'm gonna get back down to London, do some writing. Do as I'm told. Good. That's what my dad wants. That's what we all want. All right? <laughs> Cheers, Josie. I'll see you later. Keep in touch. I will do. Stop, please, mate. Chapter one, a girlfriend will aid you quicker than time, John says, as your thoughts turn from London, the world's town, and no one's town, to Liverpool, your dad's town, your birth town, your town. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, not any class. Can you get me on the flight? All right, well, thank you. I've got another call waiting. Hello? Yeah, can you get me on the flight? Hello? Look, right, it's me. No, don't put the phone down. What? We need to talk. I have nothing to talk about, Connor. Just give me a chance. It's John. What about John? Hedge fund. It's collapsed. His boss has had his hands in the till on the grand scale, mate. He needs us. Both of us. Where is he? No, I've looked everywhere for him. I can't find him anywhere. I know where he'll be. Bye. What? 
Mate, you can help me again if it will make everything all right. I just want you to be honest with yourself, Connor. I have no idea who I am anymore. My life's become this pantomime. I'm able to read about it in the magazines and I'm lunch break. Right, I look myself in the mirror and I don't know what's looking back at me. I'm done with all this. I left the agency. That's the first thing I've believed that you've said in about six months. <laughs> Look, you've got me and Johnny. You mean that? Yeah. Don't give up, right? Thank you. I get off me a bit, girl. Listen, I thought that Freddy guy was to fucking go anyway. <laughs> what about you and Anna? She's uh, getting on a flight to New York today. You don't think you should be on that flight? I can't get tickets. Dad, I'm still Colin Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's only 20 quid. I told you already, I'm broke. Can't I just do, like, a little dance for you in return or something? Excuse me, love. Can we just have 10 minutes with him? Gladly. Keep a change. Jesus, you two talking again, then? Well, where else am I going to go? I'm absolutely fucked. So, what happened? We don't know yet, but it looks like he's sunk the whole hedge fund and all the clients' dough's gone with it. And I'm basically, officially, unemployable. Sorry, man. I know someone that'll employ you. Who? Me. I got a call off major in LA this morning. I bought the lead on this feature, so I'll be out there shooting for a few months. Congratulations, man. What would it be worth if you didn't have my best mate with me, eh? Listen, <laughs> you're wasted in finance anyway, and we're both wasted in England. And you, mate, you are born Hollywood. Yeah, but what would that do for you? And after this kid laid the head on me, it's kind of obvious I need a bodyguard or something. <laughs> but still, look, I just want you around for the banner. Make some memories. How's 50k a year sound, just for shits and giggles? Managerial role, 15%. Are you cheeky? <laughs> right, 20%. <laughs> hey, mate, to be continued, yeah? Hold on. Hello? Yeah. Mate, hey, Kikins, have you got your passport with you? Yeah, I've got it with me, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, send my love to the kids, all right? All right, bye-bye. Are we on? Hey, first class all the way to New York, baby. Joking, sir. <laughs> I'm driving. Whoa! No, you're not. <laughs> you know what? Go, go, go! Just more you. Hey, we're going to be fine, don't worry. We don't want to kill anyone on the way. Passport and boarding pass, please. Thanks. Thank you. Have a nice flight. Yeah.
Yeah. Wish me luck, boys. You know it. Tell everyone to see on the flip side, yeah? Whatever happens, we're all together New Year's. Awesome. Love you, boy. Thanks. Thanks, boys. Yo, Ryan! Ryan! What? Keys. I'll never make it. Absolutely no chance. Excuse me, sir. You had a sudden upgrade to your first class. Would you care to join us? Well, thank you very much. Sure. Right, this way. Judging by her look, she's in her early 20s. Sadly, she has a playlist of some world music from some far-flung place like Himalayas or Wigan. Weird sounds and wailings. You shout. And you realize if you shut your gob and opened your eyes, you'd see that she's the one. She gets it and she means it. Their only fault is a lousy taste in boys. Judging by his looks, he's 20 something. And he's forfeited the game because he's clearly forgot to bring any tunes. <laughs> or luggage, for that matter. Was it right about the music? No. Yeah. Listen. I don't 